Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bird Dewari here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Well, happy Wednesday, I tell you. Time is going and it's going and it's going. So I hope that you took time out to study the word. We must study. This is where we get our divine instructions from. We must study the word. And we know it's later than we think. It is later than we think. We're running out of time on this earth. And we know Jesus is a gentleman. And he keeps on knocking on the door of our hearts. Hey, Paul. Thank you so much, my friend, for stopping by. I hope you are having a fantastic day. So Jesus is a gentleman. He keeps on knocking on the door of our hearts. And he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3.16. Let me go here. So uh, before we go into our topic today on results of obeying God's law, part two, let us go ahead and bow for prayer. The kind of gracious hand of Father, I thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. Father, I thank you that I'm able to hear, I'm able to see, I'm able to walk, I'm able to do what you have called me to do. Father, right now, I ask you that you would decrease me so that you will be increased. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, my sister, my brother, scripture reading is coming from Deuteronomy 26. Deuteronomy 26, and you know what? I moved my marking, or did I do move? Oh, my Bible's backwards. Okay, Deuteronomy 26, verses 16 and 17. And it states, This day the Lord thy God has commanded thee to do these statutes and judgment, and thou shalt therefore keep and do them with all thine heart and with all thy soul. 17. Thou hast avouched the Lord this day to be thy God and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandment and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. Okay, so may the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his word. Isn't that beautiful? Check that out. Check that out. I tell you, I love to be in the country. You hear that? I tell you, I love being in the country. So... I'm going to go ahead and pick up the last sentence from uh, yesterday, and then we continue in part two. And yesterday, the last sentence state, they would have been the mightiest nation on earth, God said. And who was that? That was the Israelite. Okay, we're still talking about, let me go over. We're still talking about uh, hygiene. Let me go over. Let me go over. Hold on, hold on. The hygiene amounts the Israelites. So we're still talking about that. So let us go. So since I just state that, let me go back and read that. And they would have been the mightiest nation on the earth, God said. Thou shalt be blessed above the people. And this was Deuteronomy 7, 14. So here's the question. Did the Israelite as a nation pass the test? Did they? No, they fail the test they fail the test and each one of us are given a test each moment okay so are we passing our test are we passing our test so let's go on to part two it says the lord has avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people and he had promised thee that that thou shouldest keep all his commandment and to make the high above all nations which he had made in praise and in name and in honor and that thou makest be an holy people unto the Lord thy God as he has spoken and this is find this in Deuteronomy we just uh, covered Deuteronomy or read this morning Deuteronomy 26 verses 16 and 17 so this is Deuteronomy 26 uh, verses 18 and 19 and they, and um, let us go on it says and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou have hearkened unto the voice of the Lord thy God blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall thou be thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep blessed shall be thy basket and thy store blessed shall thou be when thou comest in and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out and this is Deuteronomy 
28 verses 2 to 6 and it goes on I haven't seen my little kittens this morning oh they're over there resting okay okay so it says the Lord shall command thy blessings upon thee in thy households and in all that thou settest thy hand unto and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And the Lord shall establish thee as holy people unto himself. And he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways, and all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in, in goods, in the fruits of thy body, in the fruits of thy cattle, and in the grounds, uh, and in the fruit of thy ground, and in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heavens to give the rain unto thy lands in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hands. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hast hearkened unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. And that was verse uh, 8 through 13. So that concludes part 1 of results of obeying God's law. So you see, it is very clear the instructions that God has given the Israelite. But that today is for us. He has given us the same, the same thing. We as individuals need to make a stand. Who side are we going to be on? There's only two sides. There's God's side and then there's Satan's side. So we need to choose each moment. Who are we serving? Who are we serving, my sister, my brother? So, um, so here I have, remember I always talked about, I always talked about, um, what was it? The bitter cup, the bitter cup. And so I said, okay, the bitter cup. I keep on saying the bitter cup. And I remember a long time ago, I think it was, I remember Step to Christ, I believe I was doing um, the, um, for those of you that might want to hear the Steps to Christ, I already have it on YouTube that I uh, read this whole complete book. So you can go ahead and find that there as well. But I believe it was in Step to Christ that I, I remember talking about the bitter cup. But anyhow, I did my research this morning again, and I found it. It says, this is uh, Christian experience and teaching. And then this, the type, the topic or the chapter is uh, chapter 15. And it's, and the title is Trials of Our Faith. Okay, so let, let, let us begin. It says, we must have on the whole armor of God and be ready at any moment for our conflict with the power of darkness. When, tempta when temptation and trials rushed in upon us, let us go to God and agonize with him in prayer. He will not turn soldiers of Jesus. Then would Israel move forward strong in God and in the power of his might. God has shown me that he has that he gave his people a bitter cup to drink to purify and and cleanse them it is a bitter effect upon the heart and if the second does not affect the work then they must have another and another until it does have its design effect or they will be left filthy in pure in heart I saw that the bitter cup can be sweetened with patient endurance and prayer and it and that it will have its design effect upon the heart of those who thus receive receive it and God will be honored and glorified and let me let me just take this little part it said it is no small thing to be a Christian let me repeat that it is no small thing to be a Christian and to be owned and approved of God. Mm. I tell you, 
So we as individual, my sister, my brother, we have to pass the test. We must pass the test in order to make it into heaven. We have to pass our test. And so if we as individual will become as little children, they're very forgiven, they're very humble, you can always go to them and they said, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for whatever or forgive me for whatever. And they said, oh, mommy is okay. Oh, daddy is okay. Oh, grandma is okay. You know, so we as individuals, we say, oh, I'm too grown. I can do what I want to do. And don't tell me, you know what? No, my sister, my brother, we have to become little, little children as little children, very humble, obedient children. And here it is, my hymn for today. Uh, Jesus, friend of little children. Mm. Jesus, friend of little children, be a friend to me. Take my hand and ever keep me close to thee. Teach me how to grow in goodness daily as I grow. Thou has been a child, and surely thou dost know. Step by step, O oh, lead me onward, upward into youth. Wiser, stronger, still becoming in thy truth never leave me nor forsake me ever be my friend for i need thee from life dawning to its end isn't that beautiful jesus friend of little children i hope you make him your friend and lord of your life today let us bow for prayer the kind of gracious and father i thank you thank you thank you for this beautiful day. I thank you for my brothers and my sister that stopped by today. I thank you for this breeze, Father, that is blowing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for cooling off this valley right now. Father, I thank you, Father, for being such a mighty God, Father, for loving us so much, Father, that you sent your son to die on Calvary's cross, that we too might make a decision to serve thee, to serve thee fully. Father, take these empty vessels, fill them up, Father, and so that we will be able to do what you have called us to do. If we have done anything, Father, that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father, we ask you that you forgive us, wash us, and make us pure. Be with my sisters and my brothers today. Give them a blessing from on high. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Okay, my sister, my brother, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If this was a blessing to you, pass it on. Somebody needs to know about the bitter cup. Somebody needs to know that as we continue drinking this bitter cup, we need to, in order to put the sweetener, put a little bit of sweetener in there, patient endurance and prayer. So let us continue to remain faithful until the end. Get ready, get ready. Jesus is soon to come. Take care, my sister, my brother.